Sri Lankan Prime Minister Rajapaksa was presently on a four-day visit to India. This is his first official visit abroad after having taken charge as the Prime Minister. So let's first tell you as to what's on the agenda. Now, Mahinda Rajapaksa landed in New Delhi. Talks will, of course, be held on a number of key issues. The formalities have begun. The Sri Lankan Prime Minister, of course, was greeted with a ceremonial guard of honour, the pres President's residence, the Rashtrapati Bhavan. Now, the Sri Lankan Prime Minister was met by his Indian counterpart, Narendra Modi. Now, the two leaders are expected to hold bilateral talks primarily on trade, development, defence and tourism. In other words, of Mahindra Rajapakse, he said this is what he has tweeted and I quote him, the scheduled meeting will build on the strong relationship that already exists between the two nations. So let's remind you that this visit follows one by President Gotabaya Rajapakse last November. Gotabaya Rajapakse is in fact the brother of Mahindra Rajapakse. And this was when New Delhi had announced a $450 million line of credit to the island nation. Mahinda Rajapakse hopes to finalize its implementation in this visit. The development, cooperation and debt is high on the agenda. Rajapakse holds the finance, economics and policy development portfolios and naturally talks will be held on countering the debt trap. The Chinese strategy that we have so often discussed Sri Lanka's external debt is mounting. Much of this debt, interestingly, was accumulated at the time when Mahinda Rajapakse was the president of the country. Now, we are told that the Minister of Fisheries is also accompanying the Sri Lankan Prime Minister. Reports say that Sri Lanka wishes to propose a joint marine resources management authority, a body that will include bureaucrats, researchers and representatives of the Fishermen's Association. The agenda will be to try and find a solution to the very thorny problem of the Park Bay fisheries conflict. This has been a pretty thorny issue and a long pending one between India and Sri Lanka. The Sri Lankan Tamil community is also following the developments in this visit very, very keenly. Two Tamil ministers in the Rajapakse government are reportedly in the 10-member delegation. Impending political solutions concerning the Sri Lankan Tamils could be brought up. Remember, the Sri Lankan president had expressed reservations over the full implementation of the 13th Amendment of the Sri Lankan Constitution when he was in India last November. And this 13th Amendment was actually an outcome of the Indo-Lanka Accord of 1987. It will be very interesting to see as to what assurances Mahindra Rajapakse can give to India this time round. Now, apart from business, Mahindra Rajapakse is also likely to visit the religious sites of Banaras, Sarnath, Bodhgaya and Tirupati. We'll, of course, be tracking the developments very closely and we'll get you all the updates as they unfold. And Vion's principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidhan Sibyl, has, of course, been tracking this visit closely. And he has sent us this report from India's presidential palace in New Delhi. Listen in. The visit of the Sri Lankan Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksha has begun. Today is uh, the main day of engagement. Uh, we know that ceremonial reception was given to him uh, at the forecourt of the Rashpati Bhavan. Uh, we also know that he is going to sit with the Indian Prime Minister shortly. And on the table will be everything from defence to tourism to trade and economic development. Also will be the top focus, uh, a trilateral between India, Sri Lanka and Maldives. Yesterday, the Maldivian Defence Minister confirmed to Vion that this is being discussed and she hoped that Malay will be the, the centre of the first such meeting. But uh, we know that this is the first visit of Mahinda Rajapaksha after assuming the Prime Ministership of Sri Lanka. The President of uh, Sri Lanka and his brother Gotabaya Rajapaksha had visited India in November and there have been a number of high-level visits between both the countries. In fact, the Indian Prime Minister shows Sri Lanka along with Maldives as his first foreign destination in his uh, second term. And also we know that India has been providing 
providing counter terror uh, measures and cooperation with Sri Lanka in the aftermath especially of the deadly terror attacks which happened on 21st of April. But by and large a pretty important uh, uh, visit of the Sri Lankan Prime Minister, a visit that will showcase the growing ties between both Colombo and New Delhi. With video journalist Vikram Siddhan Sibal for Vion in New Delhi.